you want to hear my poem again, Sarge? Uh, no thanks. Uh, so you don't want to hear it, huh? I guess I'm just another one of those unappreciated geniuses. It was very depressing. It kind of threw me off. Could, could, could you write something a little bit, you know, uplifting? Do you need my uplift? I have uplift. Isn't it this? Isn't it this one? There we go. No answer. It's just a barrel. Barrel! So we're going to keep doing this a few times. And time number four. What do you want already? I said I'm just a barrel. Fine. Just take it, man. Here. Surge found uplift in the barrel. I don't think they ever bother explaining that. But uh, we got another uplift. We should give it to her so that she could write something. But uh, for the time being... Oh, I have to open it. We'll just uh, move forward. And... Here, we can find a Hecarin bone. That is probably going to be very important. Anything else in here? Oh, big chest with an ivory helmet in it. Now I don't need to make one. Great, now the dog's following me around. Uh, can I go ahead and equip that now? We actually do probably need it. Yeah, you can have three accessories in this game. As you can see, uh, the weapon that Surge does have is a sea swallow to start. It does have ivory mail that we did see in the shop. And now we have the ivory helmet, which will increase our defense and magic defense by One, I believe, but it's not really showing you. Yeah, how is it not showing like regular defense? That's kind of weird. But we'll, we'll equip it because it definitely increased it. And I think we are uh, done here. So we will get out of here. Unfortunately, I can't really talk to Belcha, even though I want to. Belcha's interesting, damn it. He's been cooking for so long, he's got to have some good stories. All right, so I came out of here. Let's head into the uh, final house, which would be... Ooh. Well, there's somebody that looks upset in the distance. And next to a fisherman. You used to cry and run away at the mere side of a pussy cat. Do you remember? No. When you were about wee high, you were attacked by a panther demon. I guess it left an emotional scar. But it's good that you've overcome that fear. Girls will think you're a weenie running away from cats. Why is everybody against me in the village? Good morning, Sarge. Don't tell me you just woke up. Don't you know that the early bird gets the worm? Lena's over there on the pier. She looks like her mother asked her to babysit. Alina, the one that looks upset, <sighs> that is not necessarily good. Now, it's over here. I swear it's that bucket right there. There we go. It can be hard to, f to focus on something. Surge found Photon Ray inside the bucket. Now, I thought we saw that one before in the uh, little dream sequence, but I think we're actually going to allocate this one. Uh, Photon Ray shoots a bright laser beam at your opponent. It's your basic white attack, just like Fireball is your basic red attack. Uh, we don't actually need to allocate that right now. Like I said, we're going to hold off for that one for a little bit. Uh, but for the time being, we are going to head not to the pier. We're still putting off with Lena for a while. I'm going to get yelled at over there. So we'll head uh, this way. Going to ignore all that for the time being and i believe is it this right here the problem is that even when i know where it is it can be hard sometimes all right we'll just talk to this guy for the time being yo my name's toma the 14th people usually put the great explorer in front of my name the great explorer toma the 14th okay sure Great explorer Toma. I was just looking around for treasure. I have a sixth sense, you know? Yo, I wasn't gardening. I uh, was really looking for treasure. Sure you are. Sure you are. I swear it's the bucket. Come on, bucket. There we go. It is the bucket. Surge found aqua beam in the bucket. Maybe I should just walk and that'll help me out a little bit. All right, so let's head inside. 
And here we can find something shining and green. But for the time being, we'll head over here. Time sure does fly. Chief Radius has been living here for four years already. He is such a bright, cheerful man. Everyone in the village really likes him. I wish he could stay here forever. Well, isn't that nice? There's something down here. I want to avoid that for the time being. Let's talk to you. We came all the way out here in search of the legendary treasure, but our funds ran out. Once I'm done cleaning in here, I have to do some yard work. We gotta do something to cover our expenses. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have tried to persuade Sir Toma to look for treasure on the Xenon continent. Xenon continent? Oh, it's you, Serge. I think the chief is outside. He said he was going to teach some self-defense. He may be old, but he still has some fight left in him. You kids better not misbehave or else the chief will have to crack down on you all. Let's, let's not let that happen. Right, let's talk to people in front of the giant green thing. That's exactly right, Serge. There it is, the record of fate. It records everything, good or bad. If you see one of those things outside, don't forget to record everything you've done so far. Think of how terrible it would be if you lost your past. There wouldn't be anything you could do about it. The hell is that supposed to mean? Just go, that's a save point. That's all I really need to know. If you listen closely, the record of fate will tell you lots of things, like what you should be doing next. And when you can't hear anything anymore, well, I guess it means you don't have a future. Why is everybody so ominous lately? When that happens, you should just go home and go to sleep. There isn't anything you can do to change fate. This thing sounds scary. If you want to record what you've done so far, step up to the record of fate and open up the menu. Then select the block you want and follow the directions to save. Easy, isn't it? But you should go look for another one. I'm going to be here for a while. Oh yeah, if you go out on the world map, you can save without the record of fate. No cutting in line, Serge. Back on the line. All right. But they're not going to let me do that. That kind of sucks. I will actually want to save. Hold on. Yeah, I thought there was something in here. Let's actually head over to this and find ourselves another cure element, which we have already seen. And we already have one equipped, so we don't need to go over that anymore. All right, let's head back outside. I do believe we have found almost everything. Uh, let's avoid all these people once again and talk to the giant pink and purple dog. This is Pashu. Oh, hi, Thirdy Poo. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. Have you already met up with Lena? Me think she was by the pier. Hey, I heard you like Hecarin Bones, Poshul. Ah, is that a Hecarin Bone? Thirdy Poo, a, a present for I? How'd you know? Hmm. To accept or not to accept? Ahem. Me accept your present and me shall help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me will use my pretty miracle power X. Me will do it, Sergi Poo. We have our first party member. Poshul has joined our party. Uh, you can rename Poshul at this point, uh, but it's always weird for me when you rename characters in this game because most of the characters that are going to be joining the party, we already have a name for them and the game has been telling us their name. And then I go, do you want to change it? But like, no, not when I've already become familiar with them. So we are going to stick with default names here as well. Let's talk to you. How are you doing? Girl? There we go. It's boring playing alone. Come on, Poshua, let's play. Me, I'm sorry. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. We'll play later, okay? How boring. Uh, but before I do talk to these people, we're, we're putting that off for a little bit, uh, it's time to start allocating the elements that we do have. Let's take a look at Poshua here. Poshua doesn't have anything equipped. Uh, Pashul is yellow. The, the innate color is important. Uh, Pashul is yellow. Surge is white. Those are going to be important. Uh, so we're going to stick with uh, Uplift. No, we're going to want... Uh, what do we want? 
We're gonna want tablet here. Uh, we will go for uplift here. And then uh, cure there. That'll probably work out. Notice that it's cure plus two. That's because it's on level three and it's naturally a level one thing. So that's what it means, level one plus or minus seven. That's how far you can uh, allocate it. And I do believe it actually gets power, more powerful that way. Uh, right. So let's work with you a little bit here. I do want to give you photon ray. So we'll put photon ray there. That actually looks pretty good. We'll get that going. All right, so uh, Poshul's more of a curing person for us now, even though Poshul does have more strength than Surge does right now. Poshul has low accuracy and low a lot of things. Uh, Poshul comes with a bone glove and ivory mail. No need to equip Poshul with that. Her with that. I'm trying to remember that Poshul is female. I, it should be kind of obvious from the fact that bright pink and purple, but uh, it doesn't always work that way for me. All right. Let's talk to you. Hi, Serge. I, Ganji, know all and see all. I can tell you all you need to know about using key items. Uh, go ahead and tell me, Ganji. I've already used two, but uh, why not uh, teach me how to use the others? Good, good. I'd be happy to. Listen carefully now. When you want to give someone a key item, get within talking distance and press the square button. This will bring up the item menu. Then select the item you wish to give and confirm. If all goes well, the person should respond. It's the same procedure for when you want to use a key item at a specific location. Just select the item you wish to use. No need to worry about making mistakes. The item won't disappear if there's no response. Well, that's about it. Come to me anytime you should have any questions, boy. <laughs> Fa, 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 fa. I don't know how to laugh that way. How you doing? The record of fate tells me not to go out to sea today. That's why I'm here for the chief's lecture. Go against the record of fate and you'll regret it for sure. Days like this, it's best to take it easy. We should all live in harmony with fate. Yeah, keep in mind what they say about the record of fate here. I don't believe anybody else really talks about the record of fate. And it's kind of creepy. It's creepy as hell for me. I did everything just as Chief Radius told me, and now the aches in my body are completely gone. What a fine man our Chief is. Skilled, competent, caring. I heard he was quite a warrior in his prime. You could learn much from our Chief and get, grow up to be a great man like Radius. Sure, that's what I want to do. I want to be just like you, Radius. Oh, Serge, how goes it? Would you like to join everyone for my lecture? Today's lecture is the fundamentals of attack and the art of elements. Yeah, let's do it. Excellent, a true man you are. Well then, let's get on with it. Then me will watch from here. Good luck. Good luck. Wait, Hushler doesn't join? Oh well, 